This is only a test of the emergency broadcast system. Hey everyone, it's Ivan, Kipatcher.com, out of here for another gear view, and today I'm talking about this guy right here, which is the CM7M military gas mask by Mira Safety. In the Marine Corps, for whatever reason, we went out of our way to call these field protective masks and not gas masks. Maybe the pendulum has swung, but big picture, what is it? Well, it is a mask that filters out bad stuff. So CBRN, I believe, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. If you need to put one of these on, honestly, things have kind of gone bad. So why would I bother like reviewing something like this? Because hopefully we're not going to have chemical, nuclear war, anything like that. Well, not very long ago, as of filming this, maybe two years ago, 2020 came along. And all of a sudden, there were a lot of different agents being used. Obviously, pepper spray, CS, stuff like that. And I'm not saying you should have been in a place where that stuff was being used, but some people maybe didn't have a choice. And yeah, world's in an uncertain place. So I'm going to take a look at this guy. This being built for military, number of features kind of built into it and it also needs to have longevity. So with that, think hydration. Comes with one of their canteens. Basically you pop this top and you have this right here where the hydration tube goes into. So on the inside of the mask, it's hard to see, give you a close up in a second, but there's a little tube coming through, a drinking tube. And then on the outside of the mask, you have your hydration tube. This piece is held there's a little rubber stopper here. Mine split fairly quickly. It does not like to get banged around, but basically it keeps it there. You can unattach it. And then this piece comes off, exposes that male side, which to your canteen, jam that thing in there. And then, yeah, you're drinking out of your canteen through your mask. Again, not super fun. And if you get into actual NBC stuff, it's terrible. Like all around, it's terrible. Where do I see this fitting into my life? Hopefully not with any nuclear, biological or chemical stuff, but more think CS and yeah, pepper spray, pepper balls, things like that. That for me, hopefully it makes more sense. Cause if you go into NBC, like if you go down that road, it is a deep hole to include figuring out like decontamination procedures and everything else. But I'll go over some of the other stuff going on with this mask. Going back to being made for military, it is cut in such a way that you can wear over your hearing protection and same with a helmet. This doesn't come up so high that it interferes with most helmets so you can wear ballistic head protection as well and while you can actually unscrew this and put a second filter on here it's set up now with one filter for me personally being right-handed shooting off my right shoulder usually i have it set up so it's there doesn't interfere with well it does kind of interfere with like cheek weld and stuff like that but way easier than trying to shoot essentially around one of those filters. I have shot on a strong side with that filter in place. It takes a little bit of doing, definitely need to search for it a little bit, but it can happen. As far as other things kind of built into it, you have recessed eyepieces. So using an optic, you can get things closer, or for that matter, if you drop down, you can actually run these masks, night vision, if that is something you're looking for as well. Depending on the environment, you will end up sweating in these things. It basically, one way valve, it'll leak out and you can actually talk through these too. It transmits fairly well as far as sound, things like that. Being able to talk, whether it's through a radio or something else or just to the person next to you, you can still communicate in these. And I guess, some other considerations, depending, one, you have to take off a beanie in order to wear one of these. 
And the other thing you'll run into is if you wear prescription lenses, they actually make essentially inserts, I want to say, for these. In the Marine Corps, we had these really weird like inserts. They were not a lot of fun and you could throw them in there as well. But yeah, like that's a real thing. The other thing is beards. You are not going to get like if there's OC spray going around. Okay, like not super worried about it. If there's like chemical weapons, biological or yeah, biological, like nuclear stuff going on. Yeah, mustard gas, sarin, any of that. You want to be clean shaven, which is why the military is clean shaven. But throw these guys on, get this thing put on here. And there I am. You have these adjustment tabs cinch all this stuff up and you can of course check your seal which mine's not going to be super good because growing out my winter beard <sighs> but if you end up pressing over your filter oh, you gotta actually cover it yep my seal's not good i'm basically getting air in around you can feel it because of the beard it won't seal up so probably want to actually shave the beard if you're going to be using these for reels. Real quick, because I don't think I had mentioned it earlier, when you go to drink, hopefully you do not have to drink, this valve right here, you turn it to basically open a hose or turn it back, keep it closed. As far as considerations with these gas masks, all of the mundane. Like you're kind of reaccomplishing all the stuff you thought you could do pretty well whether it's like tying shoes or anything else now you have definitely a more limited field of view and yeah that plays out into everything whether it's driving a vehicle unless you're just going to hang out in a bad environment in this thing like probably want to drive that vehicle before you have to drive that vehicle and then other considerations too to include shooting whether it is Again, depending on your lifestyle, whether it's shooting type of optic you have, whether it's a high mount or a low mount, or for that matter, shooting at night in and around vehicles, shooting under night vision, just all the different considerations. Probably want to try it out before you have to do it for real in a mask. course if you have a mask you need filters these I believe are their NVC 77 filters something like that and as far as thread pitch on these they're the NATO spec thread pitch so while Mira obviously sells filters any that are compatible with like NATO spec field protective or gas masks you're good to go there is a shelf life on these stuff's actually good like sealed for like 20 years so you can buy it 
and just have it, which is nice. Once you crack the seal on these though, like they're a perishable item. You use them and then you change them out. It's pretty hard to like, hey, how long can I actually like use this filter for? It totally depends on your rate breathing, like what's in the air, like what it's trying to filter out, like all of those things. If you think about it from the context of like, hey, I need to remove myself from a place because you probably don't want to hang out there. If you're trying to get out of an area, figure probably about two of these for a mask for a person per day. So two filters a day. Figure you're getting like 12 hours out of it. Can you get more? Yeah, probably. But do you really want to mess around with it depending on the agent that this is filtering? No. Not really. As far as what this actually filters out, pretty much all of the things, gases, vapors, aerosols, there's a huge laundry list of the stuff it'll filter out, industrial chemicals, all kinds of stuff. And yeah, realistically, what are you gonna run into? Probably CS gas. This will do that. Hopefully you will not run into biological, nuclear agents, any of that other stuff. And yeah. Unfortunately, I think there's potentially a place for this stuff in people's lives, as displayed by the last couple of years. I would not pick one of these up because I want to go throw rocks in places, honestly, you probably shouldn't just be, but sometimes bad situations might find you. In which case, being able to function in CS gas, things like that, that's a pretty good thing. So for me, personally, honestly, it's more about removing myself safely from a bad situation than like, oh, hey, let's go throw rocks. Never a good idea. So this will definitely allow that. With that, there's obviously training that comes, being able to function, whether it's just drive a vehicle or, yeah, just mundane dexterity tasks to include shooting, all of that stuff. There's definitely a learning curve, and if you pick one up, I would encourage you to put in some time with it. Price-wise, you're looking at about 275 bucks for the mask, filters, about 80 bucks a piece. Is that expensive? Eh, it's kind of a lot of money to just have sitting on a shelf, but also, if you end up needing this, it's the one thing that you actually need at that point in time, and nothing else is gonna really cut it. Not just gonna be a bandana across your face, so. Yeah, if you actually need it, most certainly worth the money. There'll be a link down below if it's something you're interested in picking up. Yeah, pick one up. Again, it's one of those like, I don't need that. 2020 came along and there were probably a, probably a number of people that are like, maybe I do need that in my life. So it's here if you want it. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content, want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to Patreon, supporting me for as little as a dollar a month. That helps me go out and create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.